Hello, I'm Janie Goddard and I want to talk to you about the importance of exercise during the coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic. Now, it's a question that I've been asked such a lot, you know, what should we be doing, Janie? How do we stay fit and well when we can't go to the gym? What do we do? Uh, so I've got uh, three solutions for you. So make sure you stay till the end so we cover all of them because they're very, very important, each particular one. The first thing I would say uh, is that I really strongly suggest that you take time to venture out. Now remember that there has to be an exclusion zone so don't uh, wander up to people or let people wander up to you willy-nilly um, and cough on you or, or anything like that because you could be exposing yourself. The current government adv advice is to maintain an exclusion zone and stay away from people by at least two to three meters. Uh, if you can do that then generally speaking you should be pretty safe but the point is it's so important to get outside and to walk for about 30 minutes at least five times a week as an absolute minimum. Now I would also add into this um, that if you possibly can and if you've got a sunny day, if you're fortunate enough to have a sunny day, not very often that we get those in Northern Europe but anyway, you know, fingers crossed the weather should be turning. Um, if you can roll up your sleeves and if you can get out into shorter trousers or a shorter skirt then please do so because the more sunlight you get on your skin the more your vitamin D levels uh, increase and actually that is very antiviral in and of itself. I would also strongly suggest that if you wear glasses and it's safe for you to go walking without them, remove your glasses whether they're sunglasses or ordinary seeing glasses, um, then take those off as well because another factor is that if we have something in front of our eyes, what happens is that sunlight is unable to get right to the very backs of our eyes, to the retina, and that actually changes the production of our sleep hormone melatonin. So what will happen is if you're going outside with your eyes covered up all the time, uh, you're, you may notice that your sleep patterns really just are somewhat disturbed. There are of course other reasons for disturbed sleep patterns, but you can really help yourself to improve sleep um, by just making sure you're out in daylight and you've got nothing in front of your eyes. You're just letting sunlight get to the backs of your eyes. Don't be silly, don't stare at the sun, don't do anything thing you know that is obviously a crazy thing to do. I'm leaving this down to your total common sense of course. Uh, so that's one thing. So as I say walking three uh, 30 minutes a day for at least three times a week. That's why we've got these great big muscles on you know the, the, the backs of our bodies on our gluteus maximus, our buttock muscles. Those great big powerful muscles are designed to power us along walking strongly and striding out and we evolved that way walking across the hinterland and foraging for our foods and of course occasionally having to run away rather quickly from a marauding saber-toothed tiger or angry neighbour. Anyway, so that's part one. Part two is resistance exercise. Now resistance exercise is the type of exercise that actually goes and builds muscle. In order for that to happen your body has to have some sort of resistance to work against. So how on earth do we do that when the gyms are closed? Well the point is that you're going to have to work, work out from home using either weights if you're lucky enough to have them, if you don't like most of us, then improvising with things like um, heavy bottles of water with handles that you can do bicep curls with, tricep lifts and so on. Having said that, if you don't have those or tin cans that are heavy enough for you to lift, then the point will have to be that you'll be doing isometric exercise where you'll be pushing against muscles or pulling against muscles, pushing down, pushing against and so on. So it's that pushing and pulling uh, that actually works. And I'm going to be doing some further interviews with exercise experts who are going to give us programs for actually working out at home and use, utilizing anything that we may possibly have at hand. So do stay tuned for those videos as well. Now finally, the really important exercise that must not be overlooked, uh, these are the ones I call the mindful exercises. These include things like yoga, tai chi, qi kung, and even things like pilates. Now most people say, but hang on Jamie, pilates isn't a, a mindful exercise. Well I beg to differ because if you've ever been lucky enough to 
have a Pilates teacher teach you one-on-one, -on -one, you'll know that it's all about engaging your core and you really have to put your mind in the muscle. And when you're doing that, you really can't think of very much else at all. So it's a completely mindful, almost zen-like exercise. So what I would strongly suggest is clearly we can't go to a Pilates place at the moment because I'm sure it'll be on shutdown like most of the gyms are. But I will say you can go online, go on to uh, YouTube and look at some really excellent Pilates beginners videos if you've not done Pilates before. And that will go a long way towards helping you. Similarly, with yoga, you can look at wonderful yoga um, videos on YouTube, of course. Now, if you're like me and you have joint problems, I have rheumatoid arthritis, an autoimmune condition, which means that I can't do kneeling exercises. I can't do things like, um, oh, uh, child pose and so on, where you're kneeling right down on your heels. I can't do that uh, because my knees just simply don't bend that way. So what I like to do is something that is very, very gentle called restorative yoga. Go onto YouTube and if I can, I'll, I'll leave some links to some of my favorite YouTubers who have beautiful restorative yoga classes. Um, do check those out because quite honestly, they are absolutely second to none. And restorative yoga doesn't just help with your flexibility, but it also deeply relaxes you. Now, while we're on that topic, I also want to say, um, uh, give a nod to another one of my videos on restorative, regenerative sleep. Again, something that many of us are missing out on in, um, in this current climate, just simply because of stress and worry and so on. So I made a video for you earlier today on sleep and some of the downloads I've made for you. So I'll put all of the information below. Now, of course, you know, YouTube is a fantastic medium because it does mean that we can communicate together. So please tell me which of those techniques you're going to use as far as exercise is concerned. Also, if there's something I have haven't covered and you feel I should have covered, let me know below as well. And last but not least, you know, if you like the video, leave me a thumbs up. It all helps and also helps me to know which of my videos are proven to be popular so that I can make more like that for you. Finally, just let me have your comments and let me know what you're doing to stay well at this particular time. That's it for now. Much love to you all. Stay well. Take care. Bye-bye.